Hello everyone, it's time for another episode of Title Buzz. This is Rich Barber at Coral Gables Title and Escrow and today I want to talk about the non-adversarial nature of a real estate transaction. In a real estate transaction, everyone is working towards the same goal. Let's just close. So here's a word of advice to buyers, sellers, agents, mortgage brokers, lenders, everyone involved. Don't give the other side an ultimatum. It never works because everyone's objective is the same. Here's an example I had just this week. File's getting ready to close. It's a dual closing. Seller needs to sell its house just in time to have the money to buy a new house. And in the addendum, somebody writes, the buyer does not have the right to cancel the agreement if the sink is not repaired. And lo and behold, the day before the closing, what do we discover? The sink is not repaired. So I start getting these frantic emails about, well, why can't we lean on this language? I was representing the seller in this instance and explain to the buyer that they can't refuse to close if the sink isn't fixed. And the value of the sink repair was a whopping $350. So after everyone has worked for 45, 50 days to close this deal, the $350 sink repair is about to get in the way of the closing of the transaction. And worse still, people think we can actually lean on this tough talk language about the buyer's inability to cancel for the seller's failure to fix the sink. Well, here's a newsflash, guys. You can't really force a buyer to close. You can pretend you can force the buyer to close. You can huff and puff that you're gonna make the buyer close, but the reality is you can't make the buyer close and you can't make the buyer close in time to have the money to close on the transaction you wanna close as the seller when you're the buyer. So the reality of the matter is it's much better to try and find a middle ground when things like this come up because in real life, there's this concept of time and time is often separate and apart from the theory of the language of these contracts. So the best solution in a situation like this is to work with professionals who want to find a middle ground to get everybody to closing. The Rambo transactionalist never wins. Get your people to closing, do the right thing, see the big picture. Real estate transactions are non-adversarial proceedings until somebody makes it an adversarial proceeding. And then the, di the deal typically dies. Avoid killing your files. Avoid killing your clients. Find the middle ground. Come to a place like Coral Gables Title and Escrow where we see the big picture and we try to make sure you get to closing in the happiest possible way. Rich Barbara, Title Buzz.